flag warning for St. Tammany Parish because of the fire risk. And in fact, right now, just hours after parish leaders pleaded for people to be careful because of that risk, WGNO's Kenny Lopez is at a fire in Madisonville. Kenny. Kurt and Susie, we're here on Paralu Trace Drive in Madisonville, where a one alarm fire broke out just before five o'clock and firefighters with St. Tammany District number two. They're here on scene. They already put out the blaze, but I want to show you what happened. Take a look here. My photographer Ronaldo is panning over to the garage. Firefighters tell me what happened was the fire began inside the garage. They're not sure exactly how it started. They believe maybe Maybe it was a toy and a battery or a heater, but the fire is still under investigation. Well, the homeowner was coming home from work, saw smoke coming out of her garage, and she immediately called 911. Um, the dogs got out of the house. She was not in the house, so everyone is safe and sound. But what this really just goes to show is that these fires are a real risk. This fire at a Madisonville home on Pelican Ridge Drive shows just how dangerous and quickly a fire spreads. We want everyone to understand uh, that we're in, um, and you hate to use the word unprecedented because it feels like it's used too much, but it's really the situation we're in. From neighborhoods to rural St. Tammany Parish, fires are rampant because of the heat, lack of rain, and high winds. Extreme drought and extreme heat, which together is a perfect recipe for for fires and fires that we can control and fires that perhaps will be very difficult to control. The state fire marshal's office says there have been around 481 fires this year so far and a burn ban is in effect. Our message is simple, don't burn. This is happening all over the state, not just St. Tammany. While it's never legal to burn trash in St. Tammany Parish, it is legal to burn debris and sticks, just not when a burn ban is in place. So the burn ban certainly is important, but we're asking people to uh, be even a, a aware of things that they do that produce heat outside. So those that work outside, cook outside, please take extra precaution. And again, you definitely could be held liable um, uh, civilly for any damages you cause and so it's just not worth it right now uh, as dangerous as it is. Leaders say firefighters are being bombarded with calls. Currently they have a hundred firefighters on duty at a time, most working overtime. And resources are being taxed. These firefighters say preventing fires and protecting people is always their mission. We haven't uh, lost anyone's life in, here in St. Tammany Parish, no serious injuries. And today at this fire, once again, no serious injuries, no one lost their life, everyone is safe. But I want you to take a look at the damage. The garage door is completely melted off, but the firefighters got here quickly, they put it out. And today, parish leaders emphasize that they really want businesses to help them out by putting on their marquees that there is a burn ban in effect. So if businesses can put that up on their marquees, that'll help get the word out to all residents, Kurt and Susie, back to you. Yeah, good reminder for everybody. Thanks, Kenny. 30 minutes ago in